Hey guys, Manhook here, and today we're going to be uh, unlocking your frames from 60 frames per second to whatever you want it to be. So, it's going to be a very, very quick video. We're going to go ahead and go to your documents file. You're going to find your Skyrim INI folders, which is under your documents, my games, and Skyrim Special Edition, or Skyrim. Open your Skyrim, Skyrim INI and your Skyrim prefs. So, I have uh, C++, or sorry, Notepad++, I would suggest, suggest getting this. Uh, it makes finding things a lot easier. So what you're going to go do is find your display under Skyrim I and I, and you're going to want to go ahead and add this right here. B lock frame rate to zero. That's going to unlock your frame rates uh, through this file. Then at the bottom above your Skyrim, you're going to want to add the Havoc engine. So normally when you unlock frames, because time itself in Skyrim is locked to Havoc, uh, locked to the Havoc engine, it actually messes up the uh, physics once you change the frames. So I went ahead and I was thinking that I wanted to do 144 frames a second, so I added this to that. So I added that, that value to there. Now, next thing is you want, you want to go to your Skyrim press file, and you're going to go to the bottom of display. Now, if you can't find that, you can just simply look for it by looking for uh, sync, and that's going to be right there. The value is normally 1, and you're going to change that to 0. So the two things combined uh, with vsync present interval being 0, and then your vlock frame rate equaling 0, that's going to unlock your frames for this game. Um, if you're playing normal Skyrim, you're actually going to, the, the value you're going to change for there should actually be I present interval 0, so you should look for that instead. So let's go ahead and load the game. So as you can see, my frames are already unlocked from the upper left, left hand corner of my screen here and that the game is running above 100 frames a second, or above 60, which is good. For me, personally, the game doesn't actually run above 60 frames a second with my 1080 Ti, um, with all the mods I've installed outside, so I'm going to actually turn this off, because uh, I don't need it. Normally, you want to get a, a frame limiter for this as well. So say, for instance, that you're running at 120 frames a second, so I'm at 120, here. So I'm going to go ahead and save here. So once I found that my game runs at 120 frames per second per se, I'm going to find this right here. I'm going to add this new value to the bottom of my Skyrim I and I. So it's now uh, 0.0083. We're going to save that. Now we need to actually limit our frames as well. One way to do that is you're going to download the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which I've actually had to say I have saved over here. And what you want to do, uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. If you're using ENB, you can do it that way. If you're using Rivet Tuner, you can do that as well. I prefer using the NVIDIA Profile Inspector versus the other ones. So you're going to go ahead and find the Frame Rate Limiter. You're going to go ahead and turn that on, and it's going to go to 120 frames a second. And it's going to ask for the mode. I don't think we need to play with this one. It should be fine there. So we're going to go ahead and apply those changes. We're going to load up Skyrim again. So once you load the game, one of the easiest ways to tell if your game is as frame limited is this menu is unlocked in frames once you unlock it. So in the upper upper left hand corner here, we have 120 frames locked. We're going to go ahead and load my last save just so we can double check that. So you can see uh, the frames won't jump above 120 frames a second here, and the, and the physics should be fine. Should be fine. Should be fine. Nothing should be flying around or being crazy. This guy won't leave me alone. Let's, uh, there we go. So that's how you unlock your frames and limit it so your game won't freak the crap out when you're playing it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you have any other requests for videos, I will be putting up videos hopefully once a day for a little bit here. Uh, and once I start getting into reading books again, it'll be like every other day. Alright, have fun.